Sometimes it happens. You buy a 3D printer or you borrow a 3D printer. You somewhere you will get a 3D printer because you like 3D printing. You have a hobby where you require to print some 3D models and you get stuck. You have a 3D printer that something like this happens. Well, how to solve that? In this video, I'm going to help somebody out with her ANET A6. Here are Zachary's 3D prints. Hello, this is Zachary and welcome to this video. Just a little side note before I'm going to start with this video. This video was made with my iPhone, not full recordings of anything whatsoever because I'm a little bit shy when recording in public. So, hey, this is my little secret. Now you know, now it's out there. But anyways, I made with my phone some little short moments of me solving the issue. And I also talk to you over what I exactly did during the issue solving. If you have also something like this, well, I hope this video will help you out. Well, let's get into the video. So some printers, when you buy them, they come with a heated bed usually most of the time they have a spring steel sheet underneath the spring steel sheet there is something like a magnetic sticker some printers like a creality and their 3 v2 comes with a carborundum glass bed the carborundum glass bed is a glass plate with a carbon cover over it a black cover well those covers or the pei sheets make sure that if you are going to print with your 3d printer that the surface is heated up and something sticky is being activated by the heated bed. So if you are going to print on this surface, your PLA, PETG or ABS is going to stick on that surface. If you have for some reason only an aluminum plate, so the bare aluminum plate without any cover on it, you cannot really print on that surface. You need to have an, as I would call it, an inter action surface a build plate a build tech plate sometimes you have a flexible magnetic bed the early creality and the trees came with it or you have glass beds or you have a pi sheet but there always needs to be a surface where the nozzle will print your filament right onto never on the aluminum plate or the pcb from the heated bed so that is one of the issues you can solve once you're put a PAI spring steel sheet. Well, in this video, I use the ulti stick that I had laying around to help her out so that she can start printing. So after that is done, you need to check if your nozzle tip is clean. Well, in this case, the nozzle wasn't clean. So I heated up the nozzle. I take a old piece of clothing and I made sure that the nozzle was as clean as possible. After the cool down, I made sure that I was going to level the bed. Well, how to do that? You are going to home your 3D printer. Well, in the menu, you will find a preparation and then you select auto home. Just play around a little bit with the with the menu of your 3D printer. Eventually, you will find somewhere in preparation or on, on the movement, you will find some something saying like auto home. At that moment, you are going to disable the stepper motors so you can move your print head over the x axis so now you're going to take a piece of paper and you move your print head to the first point and then stick the piece of paper in between and screwing on the thumb screw or the uh, wing nut making sure that the bed is going up or going down but how do you know if the bed is going up or down well if you turn the knob clockwise the bed will go up if you turn it anti-clockwise the bed will go down because you are screwing the screw back in little tip once that is done you take a piece of paper something like this you stick it in between and if you feel some little friction yeah and the piece of paper doesn't rip then you're good then you go to the next point but if it is tight and you it doesn't happen anything and you feel that it is you know getting too stuck then you need to turn it anti-clockwise to let the bed go a little bit downwards so you go over all four points well first you move the print head over the x-axis then you take the bed move it to the front and then follow the other points to level the bed on those points as well 
Once that is done, you're going to heat up the printer and do the same leveling one more time again, making sure that everywhere the piece of paper has a little bit friction between the nozzle and the bed. So some other issues that I saw on this 3D printer was that the 5015 parts cooling fan didn't have any fan duct. So I went to Thingiverse and I was looking for one that could fit the need. But since this was an ANET A6, uh, I was looking for it and there were so many mods, so many different kind of fan ducts. I just took one that was way too long. So in Cura, I did a re-slicing of the parts cooling fan that the Z height was around the 22-25 millimeters. We only scaled it down on the Z axis, not on the X and not on the Y axis. Then we printed it again and then we test fit, fitted it and it fits nicely, no glue needed and we had some parts cooling for printing. So after the installation of the parts cooling fan duct, well, we did some printing and some nice things came out of it. If you're still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. If you want to support this channel, there are some ways to support this channel. One is over the YouTube channel memberships or on Patreon. You can also support this channel just one time via the thanks button. And if you don't want to spend any money on this channel, hey, you can also like this video, subscribe if you are brand new, and uh, share this video on social media if you would like. Hey, thank you, and I will see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm Zachary 3D Prince assistant for his YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed, subscribe now to get awesome videos every week. You can also follow him on Twitter Zachary underscore Burgeon.